Hello, hello, hello. Here we go again. XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, the Legacy um, setup. We're playing Legacy Expansion, Nightmare, Difficulty, Blind, Iron Man, Nightmare, Run through the second campaign. And this is the last map. A wonderful uh, flashback to actually one of the greatest maps ever built, which was um, the Newfoundland mission. This here looks a bit like one of the harbors not exactly like the one but here this house the starting location a bit the backyard alley and the chrysalis of course just made it all so much more fun i like it okay with that i would want to take high ground Oh, an avatar. Good, let's use our sniper. Deploying grapple. I think Bradford, to be honest, can just move down here. I mean, high ground is great, don't get me wrong. But Bradford needs to get up close and personal. Moving to position. This here is a perfect sniper nest. And whilst we're at it, I'd like to mention the skirmisher can use high ground as well. Pretty well. A useful aid. Incredible map design, by the way. First time that I'm seeing anyone uh, using. Uh, As you these uh, these high grounds or these containers as actual high ground so I appreciate that a lot as for our positioning I think Running. we're going to go in as far as possible for us So, of course, we're going to engage the pack really, really fast. Not this turn, but next turn. Perfect setup for an acid grenade. That chip transmitter, whatever you called it. Well, that was actually one of the first things I found. I'm not sure why the aliens abandoned it, but it, it was just. Okay, so that's not too bad. To uh, if we could up, make I it to make a few adjustments. up to kind of. I mean, this here would be optimal, but we don't have enough movement to do that. Um, how far can she throw it? So there's one, two, three, four fields missing. How far would she go? One, two, three, four. So that should be barely enough. I rather would position her over here then. Just to get a bit closer. Elsewise the throwing distance is not far, uh, far enough. Can she pull it off and throw it like behind that thing? Hmm. I would <coughs> want her to hit both the Avatar and the Andromedon just to shred them really, really good. But maybe that's not possible. Would she throw into the cabin? Hmm. 
Yeah, but that's not going to hit... Well, it's going to hit the Andromedon, I suppose. But it's not going to hit the Chosen One. Better than nothing. Codex cloned, and these three activated. So, we could just punch him, but uh, he would teleport away afterwards. I think we still maybe want to reduce its armor. Do we have means to do so? Yeah, of course. I mean, we could use the Shredstorm Cannon. Um, I think we're just taking the Andromedon out of uh, out of the equation. Not sure. Maybe I should have started with the Shredstorm Cannon, just shredding all of that away. Ninety percent domination is definitely nothing to sneeze at either. Not only taking it away, but effectively making it our bitch. Whom else could we stasis? Oh, we could stasis the avatar. Well, that's easy mode, but uh, we probably have enough damage to actually kill the avatar. Let's start trying kill, uh, to kill the avatar and we're trying to dominate um, right afterwards so this here should shred the avatar and let it move a bit away Okay, good enough. Let's continue hitting the other one. I got a piece. Again, continue to hit the avatar. Fanfire is a perfect um, opportunity. Enemy is still up. Very unlucky that we hit, missed twice on an 80% shot. This here could be a very nice hit. Great little Talon uh, 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 crit. Talon rounds crit. So now is the perfect time for face off. Avatar down to two hit points. If we can kill it early, that would be awesome. I can handle that. Moving over here should reveal the avatar. Unfortunately, not the best odds of hitting it. Let's see. Yeah, that's an early bonus of 2000 just to kill it. Um, you know what? 90% chance of dominating. I actually like it. 
Gives us more firepower. It's a strong unit. Moving over here. I can hear more Andromedons. No, I can actually hear Sectopods and more Avatars. Hello there. The Andromedon is pretty helpful because I think it's goo ability so the, um, the, the grenade ability shreds exit bomb is what it's called so as a bomb should shred two or three armor yeah three armor so it's a later version of, uh, it's an endgame version of the Andromedon. Interestingly enough, uh, that did not lead the Avatar to move at all. Which is indeed very interesting, because normally they immediately start to move. Starting to hit the sector port. Nice little execution there. <laughs> well, I must say that was a bit lucky as well. Seventy percent to hit him with justice punch. Yeah, that's good for full cover. Let's try that. Getting it out of full cover. Oh wow, we missed. That's unfortunate. Fifty-three percent. Yeah, I think we're going with the eighty percent. Close enough, I think, for a melee attack. Yep, there we go. This world is ours. Charging in. Redford's taken full cover, I think. Yeah, probably takes the full cover. And still tries to shotgun the avatar. Come on, buddy. There we go. So we are missing this guy, which is unfortunate, but I got a secret weapon. Good old Null Lens. Minimum 9 damage, armor doesn't help. Let's wipe psionic characters are overpowered. Psyops are just the best characters. The forces of the 
Ooh, the enemy is now rushing, rushing in. Unfortunately, also missed to shred this guy. Very bad. Could hit the gatekeeper. Let's see. So we got Psy Storm. Yeah, we can't stasis from here. They are too far away. But Psystorm would hit two of them. Which isn't the worst idea. So we could... Grapple forward. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, let's go. Shredded. All right, Red Force moving in. I think this is a very solid hit. <laughs> 15 crit. Good lord. Redford behave. This year could kill both of them with just one attack. Unfortunately, just that like minimum damage against the chrysalid, but that's fine. We could stun him. You know what? That's actually not too bad. No problem, We're going to move all the way up to here. We're going to use combat precedence onto our uh, onto our specialist, and we're going to use the EMP bomb or EMP grenade. that is not affected. Oh, it's immune to the stun. They've changed it. it certainly wasn't immune before. I take a new approach.
All right. So, as I was saying, time to hit the gatekeeper. And parry. I think we're going to take an attack, unfortunately. Most likely uh, uh, his Psy ability. Yeah, gateway, okay, there we go. So that's two wounded soldiers. Yeah, we were short of killing it. Oh, wait a second. Ah, okay, here's the third one. My bad. Yeah, three wounded soldiers. We brought along some makeshift X4 charges to take down the transmitter, but the alien alloys were tough. I wasn't completely confident it was going Can to we work. get extra points but by I killing sure zombies? Just out of interest. If it came down to it, I no. was willing to do whatever it took to put a stop to this. Yeah. Well, I am reloading. That was unfortunate. I pushed it very hard to actually get into the uh, into the enemy position. Maybe a bit too hard. Moving. Rolling out. Last mission is a bit of a lackluster. I could have gotten a really, really good score overall. I'm ready. It feels that the last mission screwed it up a bit. So we're moving into cover. I go. Go, go, go. The Andromedon is mainly our scout for now. Combined with Harbringer. And I think we've killed all of the packs. I would be surprised if we're finding a big one. Overwatch confirmed. I will watch. On Overwatch. Yeah, only these um, occasional spawns. Redford admits that he is a little bit uh, that he was a little bit harsh. It's almost like Redford admitting that he has no sense of humor. Although this time, to be honest, uh, they programmed him with quite a sense of humor. Moving in. 
Mission confirmed. My watch begins. Open for business. I'll keep an eye on it. Scanning. I'm on it. Yeah. There might be one or two more of these crystal spawns, but that's pretty much it. So let's take our scout, move up. So, living up say? again with everyone. Changing position. And moving up. Next I'm turn, we're going to kill the Andromedon for extra points. Because I'm pretty sure it hasn't registered that it is mind controlled. Got it covered. Under my watch. I wasn't really sure what was going to happen once we blew up the trap. We didn't have time to make much difference. So if anything crazy happened, we were going to get caught right in the middle of it. Even expecting the worst, we were still bound to run into a few surprises. So, Redform gets the first kill. The shell is, of course, no longer mind controlled. Going to take a shot with our two screen rounds. Almost killing it. And now finally killing it. See, that's another 5,000 points, which we would have missed elsewise. I await their approach. Overwatch! My senses are keen. Heading out. Going up! I'm on it. Okay. should consider starting a little radio network of your own. Freedom Radio, battle cry of the resistance. Something to get your people good and riled up before you head out. I wonder what happened to DJ and why he's not on the adventure. My most realistic guess is Bradford killed him. It was hard to miss the transmitter. The DJ had done a number on the alien components to rig it up. I go quickly. Heading to that location. Yeah, I guess that was no it. Affirmative, covering nine. I'm on it. Overwatch. On that point, surprisingly enough, I agreed with him. After all the work we put in saving him, we might as well get something in return. Once he managed to pull it together a little bit, learn to work through official channels, he had a future in radio, and the Resistance was actually better off for it. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the first resistance radio. Thank you, DJ. We planted the bomb. All we had to do then was sit back and enjoy the show. What could possibly go wrong? Not even sure what we need to extract here. They didn't have a Sky Ranger, so who would be extracting them? Headed there now. Seems doable. I move. Hook. Yeah, we're probably going to look at chrysalis anyways. I will go. Got it covered. I will sense any disturbance. On your order. Need a better sniper position. Over Throw here is perfect. On Overwatch. Come get some. Yeah, I would be surprised if it's anything other than chrysalids. Interesting, so this here would be eight in minimum. Let's make this clean. Sure, yeah, let's make this clean. I like your take on it, Redford. Push is one down. Get some more points, that's good. Redford continues with his Reaper, because we wouldn't have used the ability elsewise. Again, moving forward. these guys should have no issues dealing with the chrysalids. I mean, we haven't even used really many of the um, action units. So, plus. Redford is super nimble with his grappling hook. He's like extremely fast on top of it. Affirmative. Covering nine. Moving overwatch. Yeah. And I think we, I'm pretty happy we got the 300,000 mark. Come on, couple of hits please. Thank you. Deflection. 
Oh, so they're trying to overrun us. Fair enough. Error is mine alone. That's one almost down. He really needs to hurry. So we move over. Might as well summon the ghost. The ghost could die. Shouldn't cost us anything and it's... Uh, the ghost can attack twice before disappearing. Moves double time. Got it. So I want to be a bit cognizant. Maybe there is an, a bonus for actually extracting multiple XCOM members. The ghost, of course, can move in. No problem at all. I wasn't expecting that that the crystal actually had so much movement. Let's try to not lose our skirmisher. I think we don't have any healing left over. But luckily, since we have three movement. It's not a problem to get out of here. Tactical retreat. I ah, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh wait, it doesn't end here. Good. So moving down. I'm going. Heading there now. Come get some. One more Overwatch before we all go. Scanning. Just to maximize the points. And then we're out of here. Oh, it's going for, for the ghost. Well, this was not working as planned. Oh, 
I'll get him next time. We came into the area near the waterfront. The chip transmitter was a ways off in the distance, so we didn't have a lot of time to wrap this up. All right, Redford kills it. I think that's the last 2000 that we're getting, and then that's pretty much it. was a strange place for a transmitter, though. And I just hope the DJ hadn't left anything else out. On the move. Just in time. I'm going. Moving on target location. Let's go. All right, let's go. Bam! That's the second campaign, guys. We ended with 336,000. We prevented by shutting down the network before things went any further. So, battle score was 300,000 and we got ourselves 336,700. Unlocked new legacy Operation Avenger Assemble, that's the next one that we're going to play through. And unlocked legacy armors, so the good old standard armor and the ever so tougher versions of it. I'm wondering how these legacy armors will play together with the normal armor. But that's what we're going to see the next time. 336,700. I heavily contest that we have lost a soldier. That is not the case. Uh, we killed um, we killed our mind controlled soldier, and that's pretty much it. And it hadn't uh, deducted 5,000. Just saying. Um, so yeah, well done. bit of a cliffhanger in sneak peek for the next um, session which is Avenger Assemble. I think we're again going to have a bit of an unorthodox team. So got gold here, got gold here and now we're going for the Avenger Assemble. We're looking at 260,000 points. Again that doesn't necessarily need uh, need uh, to uh, that doesn't necessarily reflect that this is easier or more difficult than getting 300,000. Here we overperformed by 10%, here we overperformed by 20%. So, apparently, I mean, I think that I played this campaign better because five out of the seven missions were absolutely flawless. Here we only had one injured, so that's 1000 points less. And here we had three injured, so I could have reached 340,000 and I got a lot of early kills with high, high bonus scores. So I would say the 300,000 here is more difficult to reach. Avenger Assemble is probably finding the Avenger, uh, to be honest, and we're going to go in with Specialist Ranger. And then we got a Reaper and a Skirmisher. That is very interesting because Reaper, um, for uh, just for scouting purpose and Claymores, is always interesting. And we had a skirmisher the last time as well, so <clears throat> no sniper this time, kind of substituted by the Reaper. So let's see how that works, and that's going to happen in the next series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to play the next one together with you. Bye bye.